Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays where we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint. And we've got the um the, the more interesting colours turned on, so what 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 I tend to call nineties mode, where um any car that spawns in in a in a shade of grey, so including white and black because there's a totally shades of grey um, and silver as well, all grey um, gets automatically recolored in a different colour now this has a few um, effects one is that we get ridiculous vehicles like that van there in front of me there's a lot of chrome around as well I notice but the main thing that um, makes a difference to the game is that I see a lot when I, there's a lot because there's more brightly coloured cars around there's a lot more cars in the hunter colours or rather there are cars in the hunter colours um, so that makes it a bit scarier for me and a bit tenser and a bit of a worry so I'm not sure it's actually an advantage but it does make the game look a bit more interesting so we're going to stick with it it also means that the hunters have a bit more um, a slightly easier time describing what car I'm driving because they can say yes that one the red one rather than oh it's just another grey one no not that grey one the other grey one so it makes things a little bit more interesting I think now there's too many cars parked here so I'm going to keep going oh actually I'm going to pier entrance so let's go down towards the beach first now they're going to see me going down towards the beach and they're going to assume that's where I'm going probably because there is a circle on the map that the hunters use to try and try and identify me and I think Ed has probably identified me at this point so I'm going to try running away he's in an identical vehicle to me so this might be um, interesting I'm not sure what gave me away maybe I wasn't driving quite convincingly enough or maybe it was because there were a lot of vehicles around either way oh, oh this doesn't turn because it's an SUV why did I drive an SUV I, d I know exactly why I drove it, because Ed was uh, he saying he'd been driving one and it actually handles surprisingly well for an SUV, so I thought, alright, oh, let's give it a try. And it turns out it handles like an SUV, and he's an idiot. Um, <laughs> but don't tell him I said so. Uh, right, let's see if we can get away from here. Um, okay, He's behind me still, which isn't surprising, because I, I wasn't going particularly quickly through there, because it was some fiddly driving. And I've learned through sort of playing this game that I tend to... I tend to drive at about 100% of my ability, and there's some variance in that. So when I'm driving at 100% of my ability, it's going to be somewhere between about 90 and 110%, I think. And that means that sometimes I'm driving harder than I'm actually capable of doing, and that means I tend to end up crashing a lot. So, in theory, I should try and drive a little bit more sedately. I only put my foot flat to the floor when there's a nice, obvious, straight, easy road like this. And when when I'm finding difficult bits, if I go a bit slower, it's, a, it's a sort of more haste, less speed thing, or is it the other way around, more speed, less haste? Whichever way around it is, if I try and drive a little bit more carefully, then in theory I'll crash less, and that, that means I'll be going faster overall. Because you see, Ed's overshot that corner a bit. Uh, he's got a Tristan with him as well now, so there's now two of them behind me. But hopefully, because he overshot a bit there, I'll be able to take a couple of corners like this and and get away from them. And that didn't corner too badly. Maybe it's not as bad as I was expecting, as saying, suggesting earlier. So let's try and sneak up an alleyway. Am I? No, it's still, I'm still being followed. Ah! Oh no! And Tristan's caught up a lot now. Is he? Oh, he's, and he's driving a proper car as well. So this is going to be a difficult, um, difficult to get away from. Um, I was hoping he hadn't seen me go into that alleyway because when I when I looked back before I went into it, I couldn't see anyone behind me. But it turns out. He, he was, and he's got a faster car than me. So this is going to be tricky. Going through here is often a good, um, a good shout because there's some rocks that can sometimes catch, be catch out the unwary. Um, there's also a telephone box. I don't know what that thing is. Um, there's a pair of hunters around me as well. Okay, there we go. That's a perfect end or breaking maneuver. It's allowed me to zip round and go off in a different direction. However, Ed has managed to um, follow me, and Tristan has now recovered and is on, on, uh, is behind me as well. Now, what I probably it occurs to me what I probably should have done is turn the circle off as soon as we started getting into a chase. So I'll do that now. Um, I should have done it ages ago. But hopefully this will mean that if I do manage to get a little bit of distance and a couple of turns on them, they won't be able to use the circle to track me and I'll have a chance of actually escaping. Let's do that. Oh no. Uh, like I said, I tend to crash a bit more often than I would like. Um, oh. Okay, let's leave Ed bullying Tristan. That's um, that, that's 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 a good thing. I'm fully in favour of that. Um, why am I on the railway lines? Let's not go on the railway lines. The um, tarmac is probably going to allow me to go faster, so we'll do that. What if I go through the market here? Ooh, has that actually worked? Yes, I think it has. Excellent. Right, so I'll now head off from here. I'm going to go down into the ghetto, change cars, and just vaguely hope they didn't recognise me. So yeah, dodging into the marketplace there worked brilliantly. 
yeah, the alleyways are good as long as you can make sure you find one that um, has an exit. As a, the, we were discussing this a little bit earlier, and there are quite a lot of alleyways in this game that just don't have ways out, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, there's... Oh, actually, no, let's take that. That's a Sabre Turbo, I think. Oi, come back. I want to steal your car. Oh, shit. Right, so there we go. That's Turn the circle back on again. Where was I going? Oh, yes, pier entrance. I remember. What am I, what am I even driving? This is a Buick Riviera. Okay. Well, it's going to be a big floppy muscle car. We'll, we'll see how it goes. At least until I get out of the um, out of the ghetto area. And can maybe maybe find a coupe or a sports car or something something that's going to be a bit better a bit bit more diff a bit more different should we say and muscle cars tend to be sort of fairly low what is that car doing oh, driving into a wall <laughs> that was not a reason why ooh Ed only just missed me though he's attacking somebody else though so let's get out of here right turn on red is legitimate and he's an american so he'll be used to people doing that oh dear that looks like Tristan and i think i just ran a red light um, pull over to here. Is he following me? Don't think so. Okay, well, I'm going to do another right turn on red and attempt to sort of skedaddle a little bit because both both of those hunters are just over there and they're causing is causing trouble, should we say? So I think I want to not be not be right there. So pull up here, red light. I can sort of sit here reasonably safely and catch my breath a little bit. So things seem to have calmed down a little bit now. Um, oh, I could take that um, Citroen that's just escaped. Okay, okay, I can't. Right. Um, so, the plan is, once again, I need to get over to the, uh, the pier entrance, which is pretty much the opposite side of the city from here. So I've got a bit of a drive ahead of me. Um, I could get up onto the um, onto the highway, but I think actually um, I'll take the surface roads for now. See how it goes. Gently bimble over there at a at a sensible pace. Okay, even got a, a green light for this one. That's nice. Okay, so we're starting to build up some traffic, and as I've said a number of times before, one of the problems with GTA 5 is that because of the way it spawns traffic, it, other cars are spawned in. If you're a player and you sit around for too long, if you obey traffic laws and drive at a sensible speed, and and wait at traffic lights and that sort of thing then you tend to end up with a lot of cars around you because the game will spawn the cars in and it won't despawn them until they're out of sight so you end up with a lot of cars around you in a big cloud of them so the hunters can go drive around looking for lo looking for big queues of cars and when they see a lot of cars like we've got here they'll get very suspicious of them and they'll go in and they'll start investigating and that's where the trouble starts because if they start investigating there's a pretty good chance that I won't react in exactly the same way that an AI would. So I won't beat my horn in the right way. I certainly won't shout at them because that's not something I can do. So I need to try to make sure I stay away from big clouds of cars. If there's a lot of them around, I'm probably going to be in trouble. So this is going okay so far. I'm going to run this red light and try and avoid that mini. There we go. Um, Yes, going okay so far. Um, I'm getting back into the sort of area that I wanted to be. I'm now on to the, about the right side of the city for the... What was that Land Rover doing? Uh, Range Rover. Um, yeah, I'm in about the right sort of part, the right general part of the city. I just need to get a bit further across to get over to the, um, to the checkpoint. So I'm not a million miles away. I am, however, on the big, obvious, major road that isn't the highway that comes over this way. So this isn't the most subtle way to approach it. So I think I probably should turn right... At the, um, at the by the uh, by the exit from the, the highway up ahead. Uh, there's no cars around. I'm going to go. Yeah. So if I turn right up ahead, then I can take a slightly more windy route through the uh, through the back streets in in order to get up to the checkpoint and hopefully take it that way. Hopefully, given where Ed saw me first time, hopefully they think I'm going for the um, they think I'm going for the beach checkpoint because I was very much approaching that one when they when they when when Ed spotted me. So with any luck, they'll be off guarding that one because they're convinced I'm trying to get to it and I'll be able to sneak up to the pier uh, pier entrance over here without too much aggro. We shall see whether that actually works in a moment, of course. <laughs> um, I'm going to 
take a slightly odd route through this corner, which isn't ideal, but it does mean I can... Okay. That's um, unfortunate. So there is a, a thing in the game where when you take a, when the prey, prey takes a checkpoint, a random effect is triggered. And the random effect of that checkpoint was everybody, AIs, hunters, prey, everybody gets out of their car. So that was a little bit unfortunate, and that was an Ed as well. Is he following me? Yes, okay. I think when Ed starts snuggling me from behind like that, it means he's pretty sure it's me. So I'm going to um, I'm going to assume that is the case, and skedaddle. Now, I've got a better car than him this time. Um, unlike last time when we were both in identical Lexuses, uh, Lexus SUVs, this time I'm in a Jaguar XFR, he's in a Mini, so I've got a lot more power than he has and a lot more speed. So I should be able to get away from him without too much difficulty. I'm also very, very close to the next checkpoint. I wonder. I was thinking, shall I try and sneak through inside the golf course? But I think that's actually a really bad idea. I did that once quite a long time ago in another, um, in, a, in, a, in another checkpoint run. Um, and the hunters were all waiting for me at the exit of the golf club. I think probably the circle isn't big enough to cover the entire golf course um, and so I got spotted trying to take it so what I'm going to do instead this is a little bit sneaky now I'm pretty sure I've lost him so what I'm going to do is come down here and go into the golf course like this into the golf course car park and I'm going to hope that there's another car in here that I can change into oh come on how is then how are there no cars in here? That's ridiculous. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. It is oh. Okay, I guess I'll drive back in. No, a better idea. I'll abandon the car and head back out again. Now, I'm thinking sort of stereotypes a little bit here. I'm not sure I'm dressed quite how your average golf course patron would dress. Also, I don't think people walk here normally. So let's try and get down to the pavement. The shooting happening quite a long way away. Am I close enough yet? I'm pressing the wrong button because I'm on foot. I can't remember the right button to press to take checkpoints on foot. I mean, it works, but it has the downside of, of your character jumping, which is not ideal. <laughs> it makes you really, really obvious. Now, the thing is, I, we're, we're suffering a little bit in this game. Is that Tristan? Could be. It's going a bit slowly if it is. Oops. Let's try walking in a straight line. I haven't drunk that much, honest officer. Right, there's a sports car, let's take that. What are you? A Serrano, excellent. And it's a Serrano rather than a Serrano, which is the... Because uh, there's two cars in this game with very, very similar names. Um, one looks, admittedly, looks slightly more like a cured meat product than the other one. Um, but yeah, they've got very, very similar names. One's a... Um, one, one's a sports car, the other's an SUV. So it's important to get the right Serrano. Uh, and I have, yes, definitely. Um, almost looks like it says AMG on the back of it, but no, no, it actually just says Serrano. Okay. So, square of squares. Okay, that's quite an easy one to take. And actually, it's another good one for taking on foot. Um, is that Ed again? No, that's not yellow. It's sort of creamish colour. See, this is what I'm talking about. When the, when the cars are a bit more... When the car colours are a bit more interesting, it, it's harder to spot the hunters because they tend to blend in a bit more. Am I dancing? I think I might have been. Let's not do that. Uh, a quick mouthful of beer, see if that improves my driving. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go. Now, best way to get to Square of Squares, I think, is probably going to be Highway. Because if I'm on the Highway, I can move a bit more quickly. And now, it then becomes really obvious to them that I'm on the Highway. Because I'm moving quickly. But there aren't really any checkpoints on the Highway. So might be worth it might be quite a good sort of sneaky tactic because they won't be they'll be trying to work out where I'm going to come off rather than which checkpoint I'm going for so let's give that a shot because I reckon I should be able to go along the highway and then turn round at some point so that I come down to the um, I don't, I'm, oh, I I'm not sure right so I want to come along the highway here and then I want to be coming down the highway down here so if I go upwards and then try and turn around somewhere and then come back again. Yeah, that should do it. 
So if I follow the highway until I can turn north to go up towards the casino, <clears throat> head up that way a bit so they think I'm probably going for Casino Bridge or something. Maybe head actually head past Casino Bridge and then come just bimble all the way back down the highway and eventually get to um, and then eventually go under the uh, Pillbox Hill Medical Center and get to the um, and get to square squares that way. I think that's probably a good tactic. I think I'm also driving too slowly for highways. There we go. What's 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 the speed limit in America? Is it 65, 70-ish? I think. I seem to be doing. I'm doing about the same sort of speed as the other cars. Anyway, a tiny bit faster actually. The accelerator on the controller is really quite sensitive. It's it's very hard to do a to pick it to, to pick a speed and keep and hold it accurately. Um, I can need cruise control in this game. <laughs> oh well. I'll um, I'll cope. Now I don't think the AIs do that, um, change lanes to, to, to overtake other vehicles that are going slower than them. They just sort of get stuck behind them and then change lanes for no apparent reason because they're AIs and they're not very smart. Uh, artificially untelligent. Ooh, actually better idea. Let's come off here. Now if anyone's watching, that's going to have been rather obvious. Now I've now got a damaged car, but it's still a sports car. So I can now trundle down here and try and take that checkpoint. I probably shouldn't have done that, or rather, I probably should have done that, but I should have done it more carefully so that I didn't roll the car around and smash it up. Because now it's a visibly damaged car, and that's not what you ideally want for this sort of thing. Because the hunters will see the damage on the car, and they'll get very suspicious of it very, very quickly. But still, I'm now basically on top of the checkpoint, so I think I should be okay. Anything around? No, let's take it. Okay. Ooh, that was quick. Oh yes, we made another change. So it used to be that when... Oop, the effect was bright daylight. Okay, that's dazzling. Um, yes, it used to be that when the prey took a checkpoint, there was a five second cooldown before the explosion to alert the hunters. I think we might have now made that into a random time? I don't know. The thing, the thing is, we're, we are forever fiddling with the game and how everything works in order to try and make things um, more interesting, more... Well, partly to make them more balanced, but also to very much to keep it interesting, because you don't want to be watching us playing exactly the same rules, exactly the same game, or over and over again, because it'll get boring. So instead, we we try and keep keep things varied by, yes, I say, changing up the rules, doing making things a bit different, and um, and and just trying to be imaginative. If you have any novel ideas for things we can do in the game, do let me know. <laughs> we might even we might even do them. Why are those people screaming? I didn't hear it, notice any shooting nearby. Um, I'm not sure I want to go this way. I am sure I want to change cars, so let's go into a car park here. Ooh, there's one of those um, Citroen things. Now, this is going to mean a broken window, which is a shame. The problem with stealing a parked car is... Oh no, it was unlocked! Even better! Hang on, what is this? Oh, a Lampardi Pigali. Yes, that's the one. I was, that's, that is the one I was thinking of, I think. The one that's sort of Citroen here. That's not how... Goodness sake. Oh, did Tristan see me? No. Phew. Okay. Um, it might actually be a good thing as I, 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 I crashed there like that then, because it meant because if I hadn't, I'd have pulled out the car park right in front of him. Okay, let's take this mini instead <laughs> and try not to break this one. I mean, that's sort of broken already. But the thing is, with a convertible, you can you can no, that's the radio. You can put the roof down. And if you put the roof down, the windows go down as well, like that. Oh, it takes forever. But eventually, the roof goes down, the windows go down, and you can't see that there's a broken window on the car. So I'm... That window's gone back up again. Oh, I don't know. The th theory is that you can't tell that there's a broken window on it. Um, we'll see how this goes. Right, that was an... Ooh, that looks like a purple car. Well, it is a purple car. It looks like, therefore, it looks like Tristan. Now, I'm in the wrong lane for where I'm trying to go to. I actually just want to go straight on here. So let's do that and pull across in front of whatever here. There we go. Now, shopping centre jump is... Well, it's at the shopping centre, not surprisingly. Um, so I need to cross over the highway, which is just just on the other side of this bridge, uh, this building. Um, and I can then turn left and head... Or head or two, two blocks up this way, rather. I can then head along the other side towards the shopping centre jump and try and grab it from... As I go past, um, I'm not sure exactly what the best way to do this is going to be. 
I, I usually like to try and filter through the smaller roads to get to my destination because I know that there's a natural tendency for people both myself and the hunters to end up going along the um, the bigger roads a lot of the time because it's just sort of how it's almost as if sort of natural traffic flow put, sort of pulls you in that direction um, you drive on the bigger roads because they're the main arteries through the city it's, it's sort of how, how cities work and how roads work so yeah I want to try and avoid um, ooh, let's take let's take let's take the chrome jaguar let's not take the chrome jaguar um, yeah so my theory is if I try and stick to the slightly smaller roads I'm going to do, have a slightly easier time staying incognito and avoiding the hunters. I'm not quite sure how true that it. No, this lane. I'm not quite sure how true that is, but it's a theory that I haven't 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 managed to disprove it to myself yet. So I think I'm probably going to stick with it. That's Pete. He's just been rammed by that Buick behind me. Um, there's a couple of other cars there as well. Let's get out of here. That's Ed in the in the uh, in the rather offensively yellow police car. He is once again nuzzling me from behind, so I think I probably don't want to be here. Um, yeah, I think that's a um, a very suspicious Ed. I should probably not be here anymore. Let's get let's try and get out of here. Now, once again, I'm in a not as good a car as I would like. The the Mini is not the fastest thing on four wheels, um, and he's had a very good look at me by this point because I sat sat there for quite a long time before I started trying to run. So. Um, yeah, he's going to know what I look like now. Changing cars is going to be... I'm not going to say it's going to be harder, but I'm going to... It's not going to get me the automatic freedom that changing cars normally does because they know what my player model looks like, which is unfortunate. Ooh, that's a slidey mini. There we go, 360. Uh, hopefully no scopes on me. Um, but there is still, still a dodgy yellow police car behind me. So I think this is time to turn the circle off again. Like that. Um, and that hopefully means that as I pull a couple of cunning corners, like, this isn't a particularly cunning corner, this is just diving into a car park. And he's right behind me, so he'll have seen, he'll have seen me do it. Oh, that's some pedestrians. This Mini is very slidey. Um, I'm going to have to start driving a little bit more carefully, I think, or possibly a little bit better. <laughs> Either way, what I'm doing at the moment, not so great. So, let's see, can I... Oh, very, very slidey. Uh, that Jag nice, got nicely in the way there, that's good. Um, can I go up here? I can. Can I do anything having gone up here? I can come back out here. Because <laughs> I'm in a mini and it's small. Highway time. Right, I... That might actually have done it. I think I might have confused Ed enough with that with that little dodge that I've lost him. Let's come off the highway. Oh! Let's hide in a bush. I think that was all three of the hunters going in the opposite direction. Yes, yes, it was. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. If I hadn't got caught up in that... I don't know, to be honest. I was going to say, if I hadn't got caught up in that bush, in that it, um, maybe I'd have been up, up the hill and away, but they were following me, and they came off there as well. So I think probably I wouldn't have been away. I'd have just had more problems with the, with the police and the rest of the hunters. So I think it's prob maybe it's a good thing. I, 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 I wouldn't like to say. Now this one I usually mess up when I take it because I usually try and take it at high speed. This time I've gone through slow. What? This is not where I thought I was. Oh! <laughs> oh no! If only Tristan had hit me a little bit sooner, <laughs> I might not have been shot. Ah! Oh. That was. I thought there was a way out of that car park. That's all I have to say. The irony is like the only reason I spotted him was because he was beautifully rendered so far to my render distance. Jump north. Where are you going? Oh, Found some mad yellow cars. You're even panicking that we're on rainbow mode and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Okay, this is him. He's in the pedestrianized area driving north towards uh, Film Studio. He's in a black Lexus, I think. He's 
uh, still going north. He's now headed towards Backslash on the main road past Pier Indrums. It's a black SUV. I can't tell if it's the Lexus or not because he's pretty far ahead of me. Okay, I'm to your east. Okay, but... he has turned. He's turned east. He's headed north towards Graveyard now. Okay, he's at the to... Graveyard. Uh, he is heading east at Graveyard towards Life Invader. Towards Life I saw Invader you go at high speeds. Pardon? I saw you go across ahead of me. Okay. Well, there's one other person here who's not here. Uh, we are driving past Golf Course now, going east at high speeds. We have turned left, which is northeast. Okay, we've turned right, which is <laughs> heading towards five ways. He's very fa This is not my SUV, this is some other SUV, because he's faster than me. Uh, okay, he's at five ways turning north. He's gone one block over and turned north. He's at the police station. He's turned left at the police station going west. He's in an alleyway above the police station! Straight through, and he comes out to the right. East of low car parks, heading east along that road. Uh, west of shopping centre, approaching the southern end of shopping centre. Didn't quite fit him. South side of the shopping centre, heading onto the glass, through, straight through the two pedestrians over there. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, south by Arcadius. Turned round. He's uh, heading to pillbox. Through the tunnel, probably. Yes. Yep. Yep. Oh, South towards Square Squares. One on your right head. Okay. Oop, turning left. Right, I need to change cars. This Lexus is terrible. Okay, I'm starting to. Uh, your recommendations suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let He's us know when you want, uh, want guidance again. Uh, yeah, go for it. Well, Sukas is disabled, so I don't know where you are. Okay, uh, shop uh, the police station by Square Squares. Sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to block you. I'm so sorry. He's on the rail lines, heading towards uh, train yard, turning back towards the tunnel. Oh, the lost guys for a moment. He may have ducked. Okay, it was a Lexus, so he's just better at driving, which is not surprising. Don't want to include that quote. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> I didn't see what checkpoint that was. No idea. Uh, I suspect pier. Just based on where the circle was. Oh, I'm in the, the Lexus SUV now. Let's see what I think of it. Okay, this is probably him at Film Studio going east. Uh, yep, it's definitely him. He's heading towards Shopping Center. At extreme speeds? I can't catch him. He's in a grey sedan. Uh, I don't recognize the make. It's one of the additional cars we added. He's now heading north towards Golf Course, almost out of range. He's going past Golf Course on the, uh, what do you call this? E uh, east side. Life Invader. I, he's he's uh, up in near the Rockford Pl Hills uh, area. That was going north at unbelievable speed. I can't. This mini is useless. I think he's on foot. I've got nothing to back that up.
car there. Ed. What? Which car? Probably <laughs> the one you hit. Oh, my car. I like this one. That mini... That is Lawrence, I think. There's a mini... A racing green mini heading up north towards Columbia Records. Yeah, it's definitely him. He's lost his damn mind. Vinewood Plaza. North. Yeah. Now south. Now south. He changed his mind. We're a block over from the shopping center heading down south towards uh, Arcadius. Oh my god. I'll turn on my sirens for science. We are upper. Uh, he's... An idiot and wrecked it. I hear you, I don't see you. Okay, and we're upper heading over the ramp towards uh, the news building. We are at the news building heading west. Oh crap, he's in red parking lot. He took that turn really hard. Red parking. South at red parking. Turned right, is heading west under the bridge. He has taken two pedestrians on his hood. Okay, now going north towards Art Museum. Still north towards Art Museum. Left towards... I don't know where we're going towards. Sorry. Taking you up. Okay. He's Into inside Art, Art Museum. And out again. And onto the highway west. Uh, highway west. Highway west. Uh, against traffic, continuing south. He's come straight off on the grass. Turned round, back onto the highway. And taking the exit immediately. Thank you, Minor Lawrence. Where are you going? <laughs> Is that straight across? Yep. He's probably going to jog onto the red parking. Mm, nope, he didn't. That was a slide. He's heading south to oh the, the construction site. Did he go into north. the construction site? No. No, he didn't. He went north to uh, Art Museum. Okay, he is north at Art Museum, driving down into the parking lot for Art Museum, and is parking. He is dead. Ooh. He shouldn't have parked. I don't know why he thought parking was good idea. <laughs> he probably didn't realize you were behind him. Fair. Damn it, I'm sure oh, they out of that car park, but that was obviously not it. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why you were in the parking lot when you knew my sirens were on. 